My name's Catherine and I work at the Tacky Morris Arts Centre. So last week I had the absolute pleasure of interviewing John Hinton from Tangram Theatre Company just after their performance of The Element in the Room, a radioactive musical comedy all about the death and life of Marie Curie. <laughs> I play Marie Curie in this show. Uh, the full title is The Element in the Room, a radioactive musical comedy about the death and life of Marie Curie. I mean, it tells the entire story of Marie Curie's life to some extent, uh, and it's set in 1921. She's undertaking a trip of um, the United States to try to get a single gram of radium in order to be able to continue her research. <laughs> This is so lovely. Look at all this. Uh, I mean, you've got, okay, you've got a beautiful rig which, which has absolutely everything um, we could need. The, the, the acoustics are fantastic. You hear that? Listen. Ah! Hey! That's amazing. Um, it, it, it's, they're, they're really beautiful facilities here. I love the purple. This purple is just gorgeous. Very nice, enormous stage as well, which we like. We, we love coming back here. Generally, when we come here, we've had lots of um, really lovely audiences who are... Um, there have been a lot of college groups, school groups. Um, there's actually a really nice mix here, because there, there, like this evening we had two college groups in. Um, there was also a big, you know, adult audience here as well, and families um, with their kids. It's, it's, um, it's a much wider range of audience members here than you get in a lot of places. There was just a really nice mixture, and lots of them as well, hundreds of them, which is very nice for us, very heartwarming for us. Uh, I went to university to do drama in Hull, um, and then three years after that I went to a drama school in Paris called L'Ecole Internationale de Théâtre Jacques Lecoq. Jacques Lecoq being a practitioner. It's physical theatre, mime, mask work, clowning, and it teaches you to make your own work. Every week at the school, you create your own work and show it to the teachers. So that's a really good grounding in what I now do, and which I think is the, the, the main way to make work as a theatre practitioner, is to create the work yourself. It starts very much with, a, with an idea, with a concept, some, a really big hook. It's so nice, for example, to take the life of a historical person, which now we've done in these three shows. The, the first Tangram Theatre Company show that we made was a piece about apples. So we took all the apple stories through history um, and you know, linked them together to make one story. So that's a really nice hook. And, and then you just riff off that, you develop your story from that, so good solid grounding, um, and then and then go crazy. That's how to create a piece. Yeah, absolutely. We now have the pleasure of owning a, a, a van, which which we didn't first. We in the past we were cramming all our set into a little car. You get to see some wonderful parts of the world and stay in some really nice places and really lovely people put you up, you know, friends of the theatre will, will put you up for the night and you get to meet so many interesting people in that way. <music> Write your own work. You know, if that's not really your bag, you've got a friend who can. Don't worry about it being perfect first time either. I think a lot of people, they're nervous about getting up in front of an audience until they really know what they're doing, but actually, you're never going to learn until you get there, until you're standing in front of an audience. I guess kind of linked to that, third thing, nerves are really important. If you're nervous about coming on, if you're standing in the wings and you're really nervous, that's a good thing. If you're not nervous, there's really something wrong. You can channel that, yeah? You can make it a, make it a happy thought. Let the audience see that and they will you know, they, they'll feel that as a buzz in the air that'll make the, the whole event more exciting for everyone. 
Thanks for watching our special behind the scenes interview. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Links to any of our upcoming shows will be in the description box below.